Hey folks, I'm Grimwit, this is Miasmada. Alright, we're gonna do this real fast. As you can see, everything is set up in my old game. We're at Outpost Sirius. Cool. Okay, first thing to do... Sneak over here, past this pine, climb up this wall. I know it's just terribly interesting climbing up walls. Keep going this way. Good, this is east. That's the way we want to go. Head east until you hit the giant cliffside. Take a left. You want to kind of wind around the cliff. Eventually you find sort of a makeshift trail, not much of one. Over on your right hand side you'll be see a big load of tall grass. Turn right towards the tall grass. Keep heading forward. You don't have a map, it's alright. I'll guide you. Follow this line of tall grass. Eventually, you'll run into a very, very tiny lake. Whoa! There it is. Go around the lake, and then follow through on the other side. In this forest with lots of ferns, keep headed east. Pick up the pitcher plant. Throw up the horns, or bro fist whoever's next to you. Either is acceptable. Head east again. You're going to come across a couple of more pitcher plants. You only need the one. Head east until you hit a, another cliff wall. See that head? Head to the head. Okay, turn left, and then head to the head. Climbing will be involved. Once you get close enough or high enough, you'll be able to see Outpost Sirius from this location. It's going to be on your right. Follow the ridge. You don't need to worry about the creature. I think it's too early for the creature to be triggered. Someone told me it doesn't trigger in the first or second day. I know that's bullshit, but... It certainly won't trigger in the first uh, 15 minutes of the game, and this entire process will take you about 15 minutes. Behold Outpost Sirius. If you've been here before, which you'll have to have, you know that you just climb down the trail to the left of the cabin. And then head straight into the middle cabin of the outpost. And check this out. Everything you left on the previous save is still here. Go ahead and grab Agent Y. There it is. Create Agent X. Or I'm sorry, that's Agent Z. Whatever. There it is.
Now this is Agent Z. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Doesn't matter, you have all six plants. By doing this, you will have created the cure on the first day. Congratulations, you have cheated the system. Inject pure heroin into your veins, possibly speed, and then go on the run for your life. Damn. Northwest, you want to head northwest. It doesn't matter that you have the map or not. Just keep heading northwest. It might be necessary to fall over a couple of times, or fall off cliffs. It's okay, you're a big boy. Put your britches back on and get back to running. Run until acid pumps through your veins. Run until every stock of energy you have is depleted. Then continue to run. Get lost a couple of times. That's normal. Main thing is to head northwest. Put on your swimming trunks after falling off a cliff, and then continue to swim. After you're done bathing, run some more. Stop swimming. You're supposed to be running. Or climbing, that is also acceptable. You'll eventually find this path. Paths are for suckers. Leave the path. Running is faster than swimming. Do more running than swimming. Eventually, you'll see the island. Swim to the island. Hum the song All Star by Smash Mouth until you get to the island. <laughs> Till you get older with the medium man bag to take a judging by the hole in the satellite picture. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. World's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I never get bored. Once you get to the island, continue to run. Run some more. Keep running. Keep cool. 
Cool Runnings. Great 80s movies. Some idiot on a tractor outside my window. What the fuck? And that is how you beat the game in 15 minutes. With some asshole outside your window with a tractor on. Seriously. He's talking to some guy in a mobilized wheelchair. Okay, that's a lawnmower. Whatever. It has now been immortalized in my fantastic YouTube series. And that's all there is. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll see you later.